Good morning to you all. Uh, next week, the week begins 22nd of June, uh, marks the week of National School Sports Week. Uh, during the course of that week, we'd normally have Sports Day on Friday. To mark this event and School Sports Week, we're going to set you a number of challenges that you can choose to take part in during the course of the week. There are going to be six challenges, each introduced with a video that you will find on ePraise and via our YouTube channel. Take a look at these challenges, take up the ones that you feel suit you the best, and record your results in our spreadsheet to earn yourselves some house points. Hope you enjoy the challenges, and we look forward to seeing your results. Send us a video if you want to. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, hope you're well. Mr Hume here. My challenge this week is the 5k challenge. So all I want you to do is run, walk or jog 5 kilometres. Completely up to you what you do. If you're lucky enough to live in Vista, all you have to do is find the, one of the three blue loops that runs around the town, start at one position and then finish at that same position 5 kilometres later. All you've got to do is start your stopwatch when you go, stop it when you finish and then send your respective PE teacher your time. If you don't fancy running, running one of those blue loops, um, or you live outside of Vista, then use your Fitbit smartphone or a free running app on your phone such as Strava or Nike Run. Measure five kilometres, start your stopwatch at the start and at the end and then send us your time. Right, so I'm up on my 5k now. On the mark, get set, go. See you in a minute. There we go, that's my 5k done, send that to my teacher and all done. Good luck everyone. Hi everyone, happy National School Sports Week. Now my challenge for you this week is the 30 second speed bounce challenge. This challenge is about being qu really quick and burning as much energy as you can in a really short amount of time. The aim of this activity is to count how many times you jump from either side of a cone in 30 seconds. We want to know your scores, so once you've given it a go, email your number to your PE teacher and anyone that enters is in for winning house points and our overall winners will get some prizes. This week is all about being active and keeping our brains moving and our bodies moving at the same time. Best of luck, fingers crossed you can beat some of your friends and challenge some of those pupils in your tutor groups. Who knows, maybe your tutor will give it a go too. Take care of yourselves and all the best of luck in all of our sports challenges this week. You need to get yourself some equipment. So I've got some cones to use to jump over, water bottle just in case I get a little bit tired and some sort of stopwatch. You're going to need this to record the time it takes you to complete as many speed bounces as possible in 30 seconds. So you give it a go just like this. So our feet start on one side, they're going to travel to the other side as many times as you can in 30 seconds. I think this is going to be quite hard to film and jump at the same time. Are we ready? So we're jumping either side. See, I told you, disaster. Can you do better than I can? Best of luck. drop the ball you must start again from zero see you all soon take care goodbye
hope you're all keeping safe and well. This is your 60 second ball bucket challenge. All you need to do is get a bucket and a ball, take four steps away from the bucket and pop it in with a little bounce. See how you get done in 60 seconds. Record your results and then send them through. Good luck. Hi, your challenge then is to complete 20 minutes on a bicycle, go in as far as you can in that 20 minutes. As a suggestion, I suggest you go up to Whitelands where there's a circuit mapped out inside the park there. Ride for 20 minutes and if you have an app or a device that you can record distance on, such as an Apple Watch or an app called Strava, you can then download the distance that you managed to travel in that 20 minutes. Good luck everybody. Bye. hope you're all doing well in lockdown um, this is my challenge we are doing standing long jump what you will need is a tape measure something to measure your jump and a line <laughs> you will have three attempts at your standing long jump you need to be from a standing position on the line you are then going to jump once you jump you put your twig down <laughs> if you have a twig and you will then measure from the line to your marker. Okay, I'm going to have a go. So mark from where your back foot landed there, I twigs down, I'm going to get my tape measure, measure it from the twig <laughs> to the line. I'm going to record that <laughs> and then I'm going to have another attempt. Really important it's from the back foot, not the foot in front. I'm going to mark it again. attempt. Mark it and I'm going to then submit my best jump. Good luck. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Virtual Sports Day. So the challenge that I've got for you today is the shuttle run. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to mark out your run so that we're all doing it exactly the same and we're all fair. So find yourself a nice quiet pavement with a lamppost. Start at the lamppost and then I want you to do 20 big strides out, so like this. But 20 paces. When you've done your 20, put a jumper down, or I've marked it because I'm finishing at the gate or if there's a tree. So that's what you're going to be doing. And you're going to be running there and back and timing it. Now, firstly, I wouldn't suggest you do this without doing a warm up. So either jog up and down a couple of times, do a few stretches, some butt kicks, some high knees, because I don't want you pulling a muscle by just coming out and sprinting because you're going to go the fastest that you possibly can. So once you've done your warm up, set yourself up and then you can do the shuttle, you do the shuttle runs there and back. You can do it a few times and submit your best score to your tutor. A couple of safety things. Make sure it's a nice quiet pavement. There's no cars coming in and out. Be aware of cars around you. So I think that's it. I'm going to sprint and time myself and see if you can beat my time. I've already warmed up. What was that? That was 
10 seconds. Shall I do it again? See if I can beat it one last time. All right, here I go. 